Hey, good morning, everyone. Pastor Brett here. Um, I'm going through uh, analytics and going through um, some uh, um, videos, looking at some videos, content that comes across my 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 screen. I tend to um, eliminate, erase, get rid of controversial topics, um, gossip. I, I get rid of it. Um, I don't want it on my feed. And uh, if you look at my channel and see who I subscribe to, I want you to, you know, be connected with good, solid content. Um, there are some things that I will subscribe to, check them out in order to check them out, and then find out later on that it's not the kind of content that I want or would want you um, to um, be uh, um, a part of. I don't want to. I don't want to be guilty of connecting you to a false teacher uh, um, or to a false doctrine. I'm not trying to lead a following and draw people away. I want to draw people to Christ. And the only way that I can do that is to preach the word. And then I know that the seed that is sown is the word of God. And if it's the word of God, then the truth, hallelujah, will be um, what is magnified. The truth will be what is uh, exalted. And that is what's most important to me. That's what I want on this channel. Um, I don't want gossip. This isn't a gossip column. If you want gossip, if you want the latest on so-and-so and such-and-such, -and -such, I recently did a video uh, asking Pastor John to repent because I saw a video that I really tried to avoid. It kept coming across my feed, and I finally I clicked on it. I'm sorry that I did. I regret reading it. I regret even paying any attention to it um, because Pastor John MacArthur has been behind that pulpit for 53 years now. Um, you don't get that. You don't get that far. You don't live that long preaching the gospel like he's been preaching um, because the Lord um, um, disapproves of him. If God disapproves, if you are violating the name of Jesus and just abusing your um, your life, your your lifetime, um, and the Lord will remove you from the earth. I've seen it happen. I know that that's true. Um, I don't want to waste my time. My goal and my purpose for this channel is to help as many people as I can to hear the word of God, to receive it, to be born again, and to grow in the faith, in, in the knowledge of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Um, in Jesus' name, Lord, bless us with your word, I pray. I pray that you strengthen us and encourage us so that your name would be praised, that you would be glorified, and that we would know you, the only true God, through Jesus Christ, whom you sent. I thank you and praise you for what we'll receive now in Jesus' name. I'm in Galatians chapter 5, and I'm reading verses 13 through 15. And Paul writes these words, For you were called to freedom, brethren. Only do not turn your freedom into an opportunity for the flesh. Don't turn your freedom into an opportunity for the flesh. But through love, serve one another through love serve one another for the whole law is fulfilled in one word what's that one word uh, in the statement you shall love your neighbor as yourself but if you bite if you bite and devour one another take care lest you be consumed by one another be careful beware um, watch out for that gossip column that says, hey, did you hear? Hey, 
breaking news, you know, Pastor John MacArthur, and uh, you get a you get a big name celebrity type preacher, and all of a sudden, boom. Uh, I saw that video analytics, and uh, if there's six days ahead, over 550 views, uh, because all I was doing was just sincerely asking him if he would repent. Um, I didn't realize that there was a lot more behind that situation that took place, and the church did what they thought was best at that time, and they're not going to apologize for doing what the Word of God tells them to do. And so, you know, um, God bless him. I thank the Lord for him. I thank the Lord for his ministry. And I repented. And I was, um, I had to ask the Lord to forgive me for even feeding into it. All right. I'm not trying to get a following by stirring up dirt about another believer. I'm not trying to do it. I don't care what you did in your past. I don't care what people say you are doing now. All I care about is that you receive the word of God in spirit and in truth from me. The seed that I want to plant in you is the word of God. And if you receive it, well, you will grow, you will move forward, as Jesus said, seed planted on good ground. If you don't receive it and you don't grow by it, I planted the seed. One plants, another waters. God gives the increase. May the Lord increase you, hallelujah, as you partake of his word on a daily basis. Um, that's what I'm here for. Uh, Jesus loves you. I love you. Thanks for watching. I hope you have a great day. In Jesus' name.